Hello, and welcome to the Jack of the Hyde Club. Today we are having a witchy unboxing trade from our friends Kimmy and Richard in Arcata, California. We're not in Arcata, they are. So, <laughs> we are Morticia and Gomez, and I left Slappy out because he was sleeping again and I forgot to wake him. Poor Slappy. I know, he's going to be in a mood all night, and guess who gets the deal? We do. <laughs> Sometimes he's a temperamental roommate. If you guys are new, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, blah. And stick around for other spooky videos. Let us reach into the box and see what we get. Oh, that's. I would say we're reaching in blindly, but that's what I always do, so. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. First, we have a ducky. It's a butterfly duck. Oh, so it's like a. Or like a fairy duck. Well, I, I don't want to say what it would come out to an abbreviation, but. <laughs> it sounds like an F word. <laughs> an F word for fairy duck, yes. <laughs> See, that gives swearing a new meaning. You can, like, purify it. <laughs> he's got little antennas. Yes, he's so cute. He, she, is it he or she, do you think? Oh, that's a Going good... on color, what would you say? Well, it's a very yellow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. It's like, it could be, yellow is a neutral color when... You're going to have a baby and you don't know if it's a boy or a girl, you make it yellow. Oh, you're so smart. Well, no, it's like blue is for boys and pink is for girls. It's not smart, Gomez. It's, it's not just... That. Okay, I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can just say in Russia it doesn't work that way. Yes, we know. Well, somebody knows in what In Russia, everyone wear pink. <laughs> 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 okay, we did have coffee, so. Oh, such a cute fairy duck. I'm going to put him with Ducky DeVille. Whom is our devil duck in our bathroom? Ducky. Okay. Okay, I'll show them one last look at the duck. While well, I'm pulling out something else. Yes. Ooh, let's see what you are. You look like... Let's not squeeze it. I'm sitting here squeezing it and I'm going, okay, more fishing. You might break it. You don't know what it is. Don't squeeze it. That's dumb. It's like an incense holder, maybe. Which is good because... Well, for two reasons. Because if I decided to be weird, I could stick cones in this way instead of the other way. But it has three legs on it like a cauldron, so I can put my ball in it here. My garnet ball, I don't have to keep them in the... Yes, and it looks itself sort of like... Like this. a cauldron, with the legs. Um, no, but I'm saying color-wise, it looks also like a jasper and the edges. Oh, yeah, but also like a cauldron. Yes. Because of the legs. I'm sorry, I had like an energy shot. <laughs> so like, I'm just being like hyper and silly. Oh uh, no, you're cute. But look. Yes. Isn't it nice? Yes. It feels like it could be a stone, but then it has that glass feel. Yes. But it looks like a stone, so that's really cool. Thank yeah. you guys, this is cool. I'm gonna put my garnet in it. Won't the garnet look nice in it? It's really cool. Yes. I'm gonna take a picture of you guys. Follow us, on, ah, follow us on social networks. Ew, that was a tongue twister. If you would like to see the faceted, beautiful garnet ball in that. I'll probably use it for incense too, but I just, I have the garnet in a bag right now. Like a velvet bag, and I would like to have it in, um, like a holder. So that's just going to be cool. Oh, you want to show the holder close up while I'm unwrapping this? Oh, I like. I think it's for incense, but I just want to do it for the garnet right now. So cool. Oh. This is what we were trading for, yes. Or actually, I paid them for this, and they sent us the other stuff because they're so cool. We're going to get them a package together and have it out. So the next time I go to the post office, which will probably either be Friday or Tuesday, this is the baby cauldron. Baby. The baby cauldron. Check out the baby. You've got to see the baby. baby. That's a Seinfeld reference to those of you who don't know. Our lives are a mix of Adam Stanley and Seinfeld, so we know all the references. That's a baby worth seeing. He's so adorable. Look at him. Here's his inside. Here's his lid. When we were there, we were buying our large cauldron that we showed in our Shotzi's Witchy Hall recently. And I liked this one too, and so did Gomez, but we actually had a need for the bigger cauldron, so we were just kind of thinking on need and didn't get him. And then later, I was like, we should have gotten the baby cauldron too. He's so cute. And so I think 
what I wanted to use him for is like incense cones in here and then just like use them in general just for like having them. Like we can burn them in the cauldron and then we'll just have it being adorable and hanging up when we're not using it. So cute. Look. Yes. So awesome. I just love him. Yes. I just love him and his cast iron awesomeness. Okay. The next item. I just love unboxings. Okay, see, the cool thing about like unboxings from friends is you know you're gonna like it. Whereas like the mystery boxes that you buy, you probably wouldn't have bought half the stuff and your friends actually know you and they know what you want. So that's cooler. This is a body mist that is like oriental or something. Let's see. Japanese Cherry Blossom. Thank you, Cherry. Thank you, Blossom. <laughs> Thank you, Kimmy. <laughs> it smells nice. That is nice and refreshing for the summer. And let's see what else is in here. I was going, I was going to go. Want to show the baby culture again? Oh, my gosh, you so cute. Oh, this is nice. I can tell this is a natural stone that Richard must have polished. Very cool. And it feels really nice. It's a green one. I think it's a sort of jasper. It's very naturey, very nice for summer too. Wonder if it's the one from the beach or anything. It feels like almost like it could come from it. Like uh, I don't Ooh, know. Gomez is so perceptive. I know Richard's done a lot of beach um, rock trips, so you guys will have to tell us, Kimmy, if that is where it's from. It's a nice solid weight, like it, and it lays flat like that. Is that gonna show at all? No. Uh, yes, it does, but it's better when it's. Well, it up. does. I just want to show the way it lays, and I like the fact that it's just long and straight, and you could put like you know as a paperweight or something. Yes. And we do have enough papers lying about sometimes. Yes. That's pretty. Thank you, thank you. It's very nice. Thank you, Wechoed. <laughs> Wechoed. <laughs> and this, I'm not really sure what it is. Like, it says EOS on it. It smells really fruity. I'm thinking it's a lip balm. I hope it's a lip balm because, like, you put your lips in it? Yeah. Earlier <laughs> I did, and it seemed all fruity, so I hope that I'm not, like... <laughs> if I'm still around later, it was safe. <laughs> it looks like he's cute, like, it wants to be an eggy. Cute. I tried to call Kimmy and ask her what it was, and she didn't answer because of her stalker, and she's avoiding me. <laughs> you shouldn't send your stalker presents in the mail. I guess she was trying to pacify me, but... You know, like, please leave me alone. I'm sending you stuff. Just leave me alone. <laughs> but it didn't work because I called her to ask what the egg that I put on my lips was. So <laughs> This is a bag. It looks like a beads that I could actually really use right now. Her bird breaks her jewelry a lot. He's a cockatiel. And he likes to crunch and chomp on her stuff. So she's giving me the remains. Ooh, they have little bells. I think I hear little bells. Little fairy bells. Cool. A cockatiel's idea of appreciating beauty is crunching into it. That could be like a phrase or something. <laughs> I like that. Eat the beauty. Taste the rainbow. Okay, and it's like a mix of stones. So pretty. They're multicolored and yes. such. I like to do um, like multicolored strands and stuff um, with projects. But it's a bunch of different, you know, it's not enough for a strand of one thing. So I just mix it up and do like multicolored. I recognize some jaspers in there of the red variety. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember those red jaspers. Maybe some invention, some turquoise, uh, some crystals, some snowflake obsidian, maybe a few shellies, and silver spaces. That's like a knife driving into Kimmy's heart as you list everything. She's probably remembering each piece. And how it died. And she says, goodbye, goodbye. I, like, I remember that. I like it. I <laughs> killed it. Now I'll tap the stones for it. Uh. Yes, apparently, you guys, cockatiels can be destructive little buggers. They're just poets at heart. They're drawn to beauty. They cannot help themselves. They can't help. Ooh, I got a new chain. <laughs> she gives me these chains because the bird will break them too eventually. 
so I get to benefit and I needed a couple more short ones, so that's very nice. I like those round ones. I'm gonna make sure that there's nothing else in here because I don't want to throw anything away. I'm always paranoid that there's something tiny. I know that's exciting. It does sound like a good sound though. Yeah, I heard that people like to hear the sound of paper and and I wondered if that was like a, a sarcastic thing because I'm like, it's annoying. Why do they want to hear it? I don't get it. Like, you know, people like to hear the sound of the bubble wrap and whatever with unboxings and they call it soothing. And I'm like, I keep trying to figure out, are they kidding or is that real? Because I could do like a psychoanalysis and it is something I mean, like For me, it would be like sarcastic. Like, oh, I just love that sound. But they keep saying it like not they as in like anybody I know, but I see it online a lot. And like the soothing sound of whatever. And I'm like, are you being sarcastic? Because it's not really coming across that well. Or are you serious in which you might be a little insane? I don't know. But they have to see the baby one more time. Oh, you baby. You gotta see the baby. It fits right in my hand. <laughs> Here's the baby in its full glory. Standing up, standing down. Different sides. Hand All up. Hand up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dr. Seuss would be proud of us. Yes. <laughs> and I really like this. I mean, like, I know other ball stands have the legs, but it just has that cauldron feel to me, too, somehow. Yes. And, as Gova said, the color is very charming. Uh, we just love everything, though. Thank you guys so much, and we will get you your package very soon. It will have all kinds of delightful goodies in it, including stuff for energy, <laughs> stuff for your body, and so for your mind. <laughs> I'm not sure what the mind thing is yet. Uh, the energy. I guess that can affect the mind. That's good. It affects mine all the time. And the cell feels like singing. Oh, maybe chocolate for the soul. Oh, there you go. I'm throwing in some chocolate because I know Richard is like us and he's a chocoholic, so we have chocolate coming for Richard. Chocolate hearts, all black like ours, so he can be morbid and pretend he's being a cannibal like we do. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so this was very fun. We are glad to share it with you guys. And until next time. Stay spooky, my friends.